right, everybody. Now we're moving into deep water here. We've got the purine salvage and destruction mechanism. Uh, this stuff is a little, a little more intense. I'm just going to warn you. Uh, but I could not find a good thing online, a good Wikipedia article online that kind of fully explained this. So I, I'm trying to attempt to, uh, to synthesize all this material together. So if you've watched my purine uh, synthesis video, you would know that a phosphate ribose, this is a phosphate ribose, uh, is going to be turned into PRPP. That PRPP can decide it either wants to be a pyrimidine synthesis or a purine synthesis. Uh, if it decides to go into the purine synthesis pathway, it'll eventually get turned into IMP, and that IMP is an intermediate, and it'll get turned into GMP and AMP, which are going to be your usable forms. Uh, also note that nucleotide breakdown can also create more uh, GMP and AMP, because if you have a lot of meats, uh, you'll have a lot of bases, you'll have a lot of AMP and GMP. All right, that's a little background. So we're, we're here and here. Uh, I'd like to start on the far side over here. So we have IMP that gets, that gets converted into uh, AMP, the adenine monophosphate, and we want to break it down now. We have, we have excess. The body says, all right, we have enough DNA. We're not DNA replicating. We don't need this AMP. Let's break it down. So where does it go? Well, it gets broken down into adenosine, and from adenosine, oh, also note I left out a lot of enzymes. I only included the high yield top priority enzymes. AMP gets broken down into adenosine, which gets broken down into inosine. So this enzyme has a clinical correlate, the adenosine deaminase enzyme. It converts adenosine into inosine. Uh, the one correlate is severe combined immunodeficiency, uh, also known as bubble boy disease, SCID, severe combined immunodeficiency. And what it is, is you're unable to break down this AMP. And when you can't break down the AMP, you have all these uh, deoxy ATPs that want to get broken down, but we have a backlog, we have a buildup of this AMP, we have a buildup of this DATP. When we have a buildup, it's going to inhibit the enzyme ribonucleotide reductase via negative feedback. And the ribonucleotide reductase converts uh, ADP into DADP, but it also converts CDP, GDP, and UDP uh, into their deoxy forms as well. So we have a buildup here of the DATP, which ribonucleotide reductase enzyme. We have a buildup of this, which feed back to negative inhibition there. Uh, however, that feedback will also cancel that, cancel that, and cancel that. So it's not making the DNA precursors. So we're not able to, to replicate our DNA. Uh, so we have decreased DNA synthesis, and thus decreased lymphocytes, and our immune system eventually shuts down because uh, we're not able to synthesize more DNA. And that's where you get severe combined immunodeficiency. So, all right, we're breaking down our AMP, adenosine, inosine, everything's working normal now. Uh, and then finally, hypoxanthine. Uh, notice here we have a couple other arrows, not that important. Uh, but now let's move over to the other side of the table. Our IMP intermediate finally gets uh, into the GMP pathway. GMP, again, nucleotides from meats get broken down, uh, let's say, um, into guanine, and then from guanine into xanthine. All right, so we want to salvage. So we're, we're just dealing with the destruction. Now let's move to the salvage pathways. Salvage pathways are going to be your red uh, circles here. And this is going to be where your body is breaking down all these purines, but instead of having to synthesize new purines, because we know we can synthesize new purines through this pathway, but instead of trying to keep synthesizing it to novo, we'll instead want to recycle these purines. So let's take a look at a clinical correlate here. We have Leish-Nyhan syndrome and the HGPRT enzyme. 
the HGPRT enzyme is going to regulate this. So we have our GMP and we're going to recycle it. So it gets broken down, uh, the hypoxanthine, hypoxanthine guanine, hypoxanthine guanine, phosphoribosyl transferase. And this enzyme is going to salvage uh, our byproducts, pretty much, and give us more purine. <coughs> so, let's see, what happens in Leish Nyhan's syndrome? We're not able to recycle this purine. We're not able to recycle this purine back to usable form. So what happens? It's going to go to xanthine, and from xanthine, xanthine oxidase is going to both do this one and this reaction. However, xanthine oxidase is going to break down xanthine into uric acid. Uric acid, associated with gout, uric acid. So what we're going to have is we're going to have increased uric acid levels. Why are we having increased? Well, it's because we can't recycle. Instead of recycling, everything gets down into the same slide. It's like shoots and ladders. Instead of laddering it back up to a usable form, everything shoots down into xanthine. Xanthine oxidase enzyme uh, converts it to uric acid. So our purine, purine salvage pathway is broken, thus giving us increased uric acid levels. Uh, some of the symptoms that you'll see with Leish Nyhan syndrome is going to be self mutilation. That's a that's a pretty hallmark of the disease retardation, and then hyperuricemia. Those all indicate or uh, point towards Leish Nyhan syndrome. <coughs> also, I do want to point out that xanthine oxidase is inhibited by allopurinol. So if you have increased uric acid levels, such as in Leish Nyhan syndrome or in gout, gout is where you have uric crystals that build up in your joints, and those crystals cause harm and destruction to those joints and intense pain. Uh, typically the big toe. One of the first drugs that you're going to be given is allopurinol. And allopurinol knocks out this enzyme. When you knock out that enzyme, you cannot make uric acid and that cannot accumulate in joints. Um, otherwise, uh, hopefully this is an easier breakdown of the purine salvage and destruction pathways. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to ask. Otherwise, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much.